Some research has come out that putting your child in front of a screen could ultimately lower their IQ. Or maybe it'll increase it. We'll talk about it. Popping your child in front of a screen is relatively new. It used to just be a TV in your living room, but now we have screens everywhere. I'm sure you've seen a toddler that's screaming and crying on a plane and a parent has just given them a cell phone. We've also seen an increase in things like childhood obesity. And we're only just starting to understand how these screens impact our children and ourselves. I would like to make two things clear. We have evolved over millions of years and our bodies are not exactly adjusted for the things we have around us. We know that having screens can cause sleep disturbances. And children develop by actually interacting with the world. Children come out with pretty poor eyesight and need to feel around before they actually start to develop skills. Having a two-dimensional world could be very bad for their development. I am also a scientist, and in science we try to minimize variables. So take this paper for example. Screen Time and Body Mass Index Amongst Children and Adolescents, a Systematic Review. They found that children who spent more time in front of a screen did indeed have a higher body mass index. Except this paper has been retracted. If you're ever looking at a scientific article and you're wondering what retracted means, it meant that there were such severe problems with it that they couldn't revise it. That usually means that they may have done some poor data collection. Having a retracted paper when it comes to a review article, and that just looks at other articles, usually means that their methods may have skewed the truth. I've had papers that needed to be changed during the review process. It wasn't after they were published, but I needed to improve my methodology. Yeah, this looks pretty bad. There has been reasonable evidence that children with more screen time do indeed have lower IQs. However, when we're talking about that kind of research, first children usually have a higher IQ rather than second children. That's been attributed to the fact they have to teach younger children. Children who are in lower income households, multi-child families, these are all things that are going to result in more screen time. Especially with overwhelmed parents who have to work, can't always look after their kids, or maybe don't have the emotional support they need, they're gonna turn to screens. However, video games may be associated with better cognitive performance in children. Also, a retracted article. One thing I'm happy about is that if your surgeon plays video games, they may have better skills. With limitations, although we U seem to be pretty high up there. When it comes to controlling variables, one of the things I wanted to know was whether or not somebody had tried this with monkeys, because monkeys can be in a very controlled environment, children cannot. Unfortunately, no one has done this yet, but apparently monkeys are getting TV as enrichment and some people have a problem with that. Oh yeah, and myopia, because that always comes up. This review found yes. And this paper found no, being on a screen does not increase nearsightedness. I, I, I really think it does, to be honest. But that could be confirmation bias. I am very rarely going to say this. In this case, I think just roll with your intuition. We do have a good intuition that popping your kid in front of a screen is not good. Interact with your kids, talk to them, help them understand the world. Maybe go outside. Are you carrying on? <laughs>